photometric content of DR2 consists of about 1.7 billion sources with G-band photometry and about 1.4 billion sources with BPRP photometry, i.e. colour information. The addition of colour information is one of the major enhancements to the Gaia catalogue with respect to the first data release. To show the quality of the photometry, we can plot the error on the mean photometry as a function of magnitude for sources with a specific number of observations. This allows us to compare the results with respect to the nominal mission expectations and to the previous data release. For the G-band, the precisions have improved across the whole magnitude range in comparison to the first data release. This is due to the better determination of the image parameters, improving the performances at the faint end, and better calibrations in general. Also, the systematics have improved. In particular, at the bright end, for G brighter than 12th magnitude, due to the better saturation handling. For BP and RP, the precision plots have far fewer features due to fewer configuration changes and less saturation. In general, at the bright end, brighter than 14 or 15th magnitude, the precision is limited by the quality of the current calibration and which reaches a natural calibration floor. Note that a typical source will have about twice the number of observations as shown in these plots and will consequently have better precisions. As part of this data release, the passband definitions will be given for all three of the Gaia passbands. Also, color-color transformations to commonly used photometric systems can be found in Evans et al. 2018. As with all data, there are some warnings and caveats. The current processing algorithms do not allow for crowding effects. This affects BP and RP more than the G-band due to their larger window sizes. Also, the background estimations are affected near bright sources, and that includes planets. For both these effects, a metric is available in the released catalogue, which can indicate possible problems. This is the flux excess factor, and is defined as the sum of the BP and RP fluxes divided by the G-flux. If you suspect your analysis could be affected by crowding or background issues, check the flux excess factor for these sources. Also, a handful of variable sources have been affected by faint outlier observations, and their mean fluxes are significantly fainter than they should be. If a source is flagged as variable, the photometry resulting from the variability analysis should be used rather than the one contained in the general source catalogue. If you are using photometry from DR2, we urge you to read the documentation on the photometry and the relevant papers accompanying this data release, Riello et al. and Evans et al. 2018. I'd like to end this short presentation with the Gaia colour map showing the average colour of sources across the sky. This plot shows the quality of the Gaia photometry, which now includes colour information for over a billion sources.